This is not the travel or camera gear video that I usually make but this one implies to almost everyone who uses an external drive to store his data. Recently I was looking for a footage from my trip to Italian Dolomites and when I inserted the card into the reader it says it was corrupted. And I went through a lot of internet searches but not able to find a real solution until I paid for it. And after digging a little bit more, I was able to find method which not only allowed me to recover my data and even repair the partition of the drive for free. I have tried both paid and free method that I will share in this video. So make sure you watch the video till the very end. You can see I have this external drive in this case, a 128 GB SD card and when I try to open it, it tells me it's inaccessible and asks me to format it. And if you want to see, you have the same case of the raw drive. It will look something like this in the window partition manager. And you cannot check the error or optimize the drive. And again, it will ask you to format it. And if you try to repair this disk using command prompt by running the check disk to fix the drive, you will receive this error check disk is not available for the raw drives. Some of the methods that I tried but did not work out for me includes the test disk, a free open source software for fixing the drive which was unsuccessful and the queue photo rec for the recovery in which the recovered files were totally unplayable. The first method that worked for me is Ease US Data Recovery Wizard. It also gives you this free option that you can recover up to 2 GB of data without paying. But I had almost 70 GB of data and I got a weekly license up for about 27 euros which allowed me to recover all the data and also highlighted some of the deleted data. In case if I accidentally formatted my drive, I could have been still able to recover some data. So if you are looking to recover the formatted drive, you can check the free trial version if it works and then pay for it. So when I open the software, it shows me the drive with the lost partition and then you have to click the search for lost data. It takes some time. In my case, it was like 15, 20 minutes, but we already have a saved search result. You have an option to select the file types or the path. So here are my files. It also gives me option to preview the items and you can recover individual files or the complete folders. After selecting the data, you will hit the recover and choose the folder where you want to save. And when it is finished, you will receive this prompt. I'll go to the SD card and recover something. I already have recovered all of my data just for the demonstration. Like here is a video file that I recovered just now. But you can see our SD card is still in the same state. And the second method that I found out later that not even recovered the files, even repaired it was DMDE. The link to both of the softwares are in the description. So make sure you check them out. The free version of this software allows you to recovery up to 4000 files in a single run that you can repeat number of times. So you might not need to purchase the pro version and even if you paid for the pro version, it's really cheaper than most of the softwares and they recommend to try first with the free version. If it works, then only pay for the pro version. When you open the DMDE, it shows you the drives. We will open our SD card and it shows the unallocated drives that we will open and we see our same folder and we can open to access our files but there is no preview option here so also here i'll recover some sample files when you hit the recover button it opens up this box where you can select the recovery location and then we go to the location to see our recovered file In both of the cases, you have all the metadata info of the files as well.
And next we are going to try the partition recovery. Just a short note, I'm not a data expert. So make sure you back up all the files before then only attempt the partition recovery. For this, we will go to the partition tab and left click the SD card to go into the tools and select insert partition and delete. I selected the primary partition, but make sure you read the documentation and then go in the bottom and hit apply. It also gives you option to save the drive current status before proceeding. It's always a good idea to select that, which can be saved to any location. And here you have it. The SD card is accessible. You can see the partition type XFAT, available storage type, and all our videos are playable directly from the SD card. If this method worked for you, make sure you subscribe to this channel for other tech tips and recommendation. I also put a lot of travel content on this channel that everyone can enjoy. That's it for this video and see you soon.